Hello everybody, Joe Tactical here again. And in this video I'll be sharing with you a book. And I don't think I've ever done this. Actually, I know I've never done this. But um, I wanted to share this with you guys because I see that it has a lot of great points inside it. Okay, and this book is by James Wesley Rawls, or it's pronounced Rawless, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, he's also the founder of survivalblog.com as it says right there. And uh, the book title is How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It. Okay? Now, the main reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because I've seen a, a few written reviews about this book in a couple places. <clears throat> and to my surprise, uh, it wasn't really uh, reviewed that well as far as, as those comments that I've seen about it. I think the people that put negative reviews about this book were expecting it to be like a story almost. And this is just my guess by their comment. Um, it was it was kind of uh, the same thing from a couple people. I guess they were thinking it was going to have a hero in the story and be this like, uh, I don't even know, like it's supposed to be so built up. I mean, if crap hits the fan or whatever happens, it's not going to be this movie type of atmosphere. It's going to suck. Okay? And that's all the more reason why you need to keep things simple and factual and learn all that you can, especially now while we're still, you know, being able to uh, to have some form of uh, civilized society. Uh, because when, when crap hits the fan, it's not really going to be that way, unfortunately. But, this kind of organizes the thoughts, and this book here, for me, it basically took a lot of things that I think about in a similar way that I think about, and just put them all into one neat little package of a book, alright? And, there's some things that, that, uh, that James touched on that, that I wouldn't necessarily focus that much attention to, but everybody's needs are different, okay? So, I'm not saying everything in here I believe and everything in here I I feel okay so that's not what I'm saying but what I'm saying is <clears throat> he goes into talk about like there's a chapter on water there's a chapter on home defense there's a chapter on uh, like bartering and stuff like that and even picking uh, for example a firearm in some type of defensive situation if crap hits the fan, you know, how to, to go about buying, do you need a, uh, an AR-15, do you need an AK, do you need this, do you need that, so he kind of touches on that to where it's like, this will, this is this is your type of system that could work, and from there you can just do with it what you want, I don't know if I'm talking in riddles or what, but <coughs> he kind of touches in, in, in all that kind of stuff, and uh, I just wanted to try to to, sh to shed some light for some people that might be skeptical of if they've already thought about buying this book before, I would say for 10 or $15 for this book, by all means. To me, the information in this book could be worth well, well worth that, or, or even exceed that, okay? Um, also, in this book, he references his book, Patriots. Now, I haven't read that yet. I skimmed through it a little bit to check it out and everything, but I haven't read it. But apparently, the word is in the survivalist community is that's not the handbook, I guess, but a handbook for survival. So I picked that up too. Now, I can't really comment too much on that. But I will say this, from just what I've skimmed around and read with Patriots, as well as the Surviving the End of the World here, uh, that's a very long title, by the way. Uh, that's kind of a pain. But... Um, both of these books are easy read books. I'm not a reading person. I ain't got much, no fancy book learnings and whatnot. But um, I don't really read that much, and I probably should read more. But you know, I don't really have too many things that to keep my interest. I didn't have a problem with that. Did not have a problem with that at all. I read this book probably, and not even doing it uh, like a lot at once. And it's not a thick book. You know, between making videos and doing all my other commitments and everything else I got going on right now, uh, I probably read this in like three weeks. So that's for me. That's that's pretty good. 
So it kept my attention enough to keep interested in it to be able to, to get through it. And there's only like 14 chapters, but, you know, it's easy read. I mean, it's not like something that's, that takes you five pages to get to the point. It's like, this is what it is, and this is why, and this is what's a good idea to do for this. And it's just all kind of suggestion, too. Nothing's like saying, do this, do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, after getting that, I like having that. Thank you, by the way, Kent. I really appreciate it. My stepfather gave me that for a Christmas present. I really like that a lot. Um, after getting that, I figure I might as well get another one of his books. And something that's considered to be the Survivalist Handbook, yeah, I can spend the 10 bucks, 12 bucks on it just to have it aside. And let me say something else. Uh, I haven't really heard many people talk about this, if any. Nothing comes to mind, but I'm sure other people have thought about this. If crap hits the fan, guys, and, you know, it, we're, in, we're facing uncertain times, we got a lot of time on our hands. Because if crap hits the fan, we're no longer going to work. We're no longer going out to the movies or wherever you go. We're pretty much guarding our perimeter at all times. What better thing to have in your possession? You don't need electricity. All you need is, is a little candle light, uh, a flashlight, daylight, whatever you have. And you can sharpen the skills that are going to be 100% essential if that goes down. With that being said, part of the prepping thing that a lot of people are doing these days, including a little of myself, <coughs> it wouldn't hurt you to buy books. And there are some junk books out there that are just filled with a bunch of fluff to try to make some money. But I really feel like uh, James here has done an excellent job to provide a very good quality amount of information to share with us. So with that, you know, and he's not the only one, but uh, if you guys could suggest somebody else for me or, you know, other authors or titles or whatever, I really appreciate it because, like I'm saying, it would really be nice to have a whole bunch of different books from a whole bunch of different authors with a whole bunch of different experiences and perspectives. That way we can hear a little bit from everybody and take with that what we can. And again, we got a lot of downtime. We might as well be sharpening the skills that are going to be essential for survival at the time if and when crap hits the fan. That's just my two cents on it, you know, so, I mean, take with that what you want as well. But, um, again, just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any comments or any questions or whatever, please feel free to drop me a line. I'm not a professional. I'm not military. I'm not law enforcement. I'm just Joe Tactical, and I'm an American. So thank you very much for watching. Joe Tactical out.